So today I got a rant, and it's very, very interesting because, you know, Food Basic is one of the best places to buy your grocery in Canada. And, you know, obviously it might not have everything you want, but it is very diverse and everything, and the pricing is not bad, right? I mean, if you're looking for some ethnic diverse item, it's there, all right? You got Asian stuff, you got everything. Alright, I mean, you got pizza, you got hot dogs, whatever, like, you know, you want, it's pretty much there. I mean, you know, it doesn't have every single thing, but obviously, it's a very good place to buy grocery. And, for poor people like me, right, um, even if you have a million dollars, you're considered poor these days. So, for poor people that have a million dollars or less, um... You know, be going here and just taking advantage of the price. This thing, Food Basic in Canada really competes with No Frills, which is another decent place. I mean, sure, it's a bit more expensive, but, you know, it's very similar. It's like yesterday, they just were, they had watermelon for two ninety nine. I mean, yeah, you know, there's a 16 cents difference, if I'm looking at that correctly, or maybe... Uh, 15 cents difference, but you know, 299, 284, pretty much the same thing, right? Now, Food Basic has been competing with No Frills, right, for a very long time because most of the price they would like this would be 299. Now they like knocked it down to 249, so you're more likely to come here because you save 59 cents or 50 something cents or somewhere. I don't even know where these numbers come from. How does one get two dollars and forty one cents. I mean, where does a forty one come from? Why four one? Right? Why not forty nine? So it makes zero sense to me. But you know, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> but you know, they, they are pricing these things. And as you can see here, we're looking at the Windsor one. But basically, if you go anywhere, right, the flyer is almost the same. Not exactly, but it's almost there, right? So. You know, you think this is nas you know, nationwide or maybe at least province-wide. But one of the things that I want to talk about today is even though with the great price and stuff, the manager of that store, right, the people that are managing the store, the one of them that I've been to, doesn't like the corporation. They don't like Food Basic. Every time there is a sale or something, either they would put like, you know, some sort of limit on it, or um, they would say it's out of stock. I mean, you just go in, the store just opened, it's out of stock already. But, it, you know, it, it it's like they're hiding it in the back. That's why it's out of stock, right? So, anyways, I want to talk about that today in this video. So, I went into this Food Basic in Toronto, and the store manager is named Brad. And the, I don't even know what that, the cash out manager is named Cena. Now, these... I called them the king and the queen because the thing is, they don't like the flyers that are being advertised by corporate headquarters, right? They don't like Food Basics. I mean, they had, they, you know, they're in charge of the store and stuff like that. I don't know if they franchise it or whatnot, but they don't like it. I mean, if they did franchise, I don't even know if this has a franchise. Why even open a franchise for Food Basic if you don't like Food Basics, right? Why don't you just open up your own grocery store and rename it? So, anyways. Every time there's a sale, and I didn't really care about this, right? For years went on, they had this their own, like, freaking sign, right? Saying that this thing is out of stock, but this thing is available. Or, like, you know, they limit the amount that you can buy and everything like that, right? I mean, it's all, some most of the time, it's in reverse of the flyers, all right? I mean, if you don't like the corporate headquarters and what they're doing, then why don't you just quit Food Basics or change, you know? Don't make, don't, don't work at Food Basic, don't franchise it, don't, whatever, I mean, what the hell is wrong with you guys, right? So, anyways, I walked in, I'm not blind, right? I mean, I don't know if they were racially profiling me or what, but basically, this thing says a limit of six, right? They had their own flyer up that says they only have a limit of three. I saw some white woman walk out with six pizza, nobody stopped her, and I walked up with four. Four! I mean, this is under the freaking six limit that is posted by corporate and I called the corporate and you know 
Basically, he's like, yeah, you know, the store should honor that, but, you know, the store isn't, Brad. Anyway, so I walked out with four. Well, I didn't walk out with four. I walked to the cashier with four, and I cut off half my fingers. So what happened was that I was moving slower. So, anyways, they're, like, saying, oh, I have over the limit. And they're the, pointing to the sign. I'm, like, saying, well, corporate says there's a limit of six, right? Can you read, right? I mean, the thing is, I don't think they can read. And I don't know if they are... You know, they have the ability to rewrite all the flyers. These flyers are really invitations to guests, right? Invitation for people to come to your store. And, you know, you invite them to come to the store. And then you change the price and you change the limit and stuff like that. I mean, how is that even... That is ridiculous, right? I mean, you can't rewrite the thing. I mean, it literally says limit of six, right? And obviously, those other things without limit... Yeah, you can put a limit on them. But, you know, this is a headquarter that is inviting guests to the store, telling them, hey, we have these for sale. It's $199, and there is a limit of six to each guest, right? So they put up their own sign, which limited it to three. And I thought it was pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's a great store, but it's managed by horrible people. People that don't like Food Basic, they don't like the corporate headquarters. They're like, oh, screw these guys and their pricing. Screw these guys and, you know, what what they want to put. So we're going to rewrite it. And they've been doing that for the longest time. I didn't really care about it because most of the stuff I didn't, like, I didn't buy them, right? I didn't, I didn't feel like, but this time I was like, ah, I just want one more pizza, right? So, you know, they, they had a limit of three. So I'm pointing to this flyer and that flyer is irrelevant. So, you know, these queens and kings of the stores, I don't know why you're working here. If you don't like Food Basic, if you don't like what they do, why don't you just quit, right? Why don't you just, if you are the owner of the store, why don't you just rename the store and put your own name on it? You don't need to deal with these flyers that are giving people cheap prices that you don't like, right? They have the inventory, but most of the times they are hiding it in the back. There is no way, let's say, like, you know, let me just go here. The, you know, let's just say these avocados, right? You walk in one hour, right, after the store opens, which is when the thing was effective. And, you know, what happened is that they're out of avocados or these watermelons. And why are they out? They're out because, you know, they're in the back. They don't want to put them out. And I've seen that happen before, right? When somebody walks up and asks one of the people, you know, depending on who who's asking... They go to the back and they bring out a bag for them. I'm like sitting there. What the hell? I mean, aren't you supposed to put them out so everybody has a chance at getting it? No, they hide it in the back. So that is what's bad about Food Basics. And Brad and Cena, you are horrible people. And, you know, you should make sure everybody has this equal thing that, you know, obviously is being advertised on this flyer. I just want... These people to be following the rules that are set out, right? And somehow, you know, it's funny. I'm looking at this now. It says VIP. I don't feel like we're very, oh, well, this is very incredible prices. Yeah, it's only incredible prices if there is it there, right? You wasted some people's time going there. And you're hiding the stock in the back.